but this little guy's been all over the road. Oh, finally, he makes it into the shrubbery. Good job, good job, little one. Just some random place where I stopped. I, I knew there's this little dirt road. Yeah, you probably even hear the freeway about oh a couple of miles away. But even now you can sort of see dawn coming up. So this is sunrise in the Montana area, the Great Plains of Montana. Yeah, it is absolutely phenomenal. A single bird singing I'm up there somewhere. <laughs> like uh, the past hour or so. They're moving around as well. Which makes me feel rather easy because I've been sort of... Oops. I've been... Uh, yeah. So it kept down here with my knife. I'm making sure the guidance going okay. Uh, hmm. Makes me a little nervous all that howling. Oh, what a fantastic place. So dawn's now just coming up. And I've all but packed up. And just down there somewhere is the road that connects Idaho Falls and Jackson. Just in front of the Tetons. And there's this sort of turn off into the ro uh, into the forest. Obviously, a fairly uh, big dirt road, but it gives you a great horizon. In fact, that there, just poking out from behind the clouds, is Sirius, brightest star in the sky. So, what did I get done? Well, I started with a second attempt at getting Seaford variables on the Andromeda Galaxy. Now, it's almost certainly a failure, but if you like, it should let me know all the real teething troubles that I'm... In other words, it's a learning experience. So I also took a load of pictures of the Triffid Nebula. That's... Uh, I think it's a reflection nebula, actually, in... Sagittarius, and I took some pictures of M51, the Whirlpool Galaxy, before spending a lot of time on Jupiter, which was a bit of a pain actually because the tracking was slipping, and the seeing was good in the first part of the evening and deteriorated as the evening went on. <laughs> That was uh, too much of a too much of a temptation. So, for the only the second time in my life, I 
managed to capture the Horsehead Nebula. And also just for I mean the the, the Great Orion Nebula is just fantastically fantastically pretty. So I got a load of pictures of that as well. And also stopped off briefly on the Crab Nebula. And then it was really getting too light to do anything, so I, I packed up. But now having survived the night hunters, I suppose I ought to try and find somewhere quiet to get some sleep.